You know, when I was first told that I was going to do this, the person who called me up, and I think his name was Peter. Was that it, ladies? Okay. Peter said, um, I'm calling, and I want you to do the music awards on ABC. And I said, hey, that's not bad. I, Jeez, I, you know, I just lost a case, and they're, they're going to have me do the, the music awards on ABC? Little, le, I wake up this morning and pick up the LA Times, and I, it turns out it's the Armenian Music Awards, and ABC is Armenian Broadcasting Company. You know, I defend people on bait and switch, but that was a little much, I thought. The, one of the things I told them is, I don't know that I want to be a master of ceremony at an event with over a thousand hyastances. And they said, why would you not want to do an event with a thousand hyastances? And I said, because the one I defend, you know, amongst other people, um, I have a substantial practice that involves the defense of Armenians who are falsely accused of crime. All those people clapping are the ones that I got probation for. And they asked me, why is it that you would, that you would hesitate to be the master of ceremonies for an event involving Hyastances, and I said, because Hyastances have absolutely no sense of humor. And, well, okay, hey, boo, see? What did I tell you? You got no sense of humor. You proved my point. And, more importantly, they always want a guarantee. They, no matter what it is, you tell them it's going to cost you X amount of dollars, and the... Yeah, I know. We're, don't worry, we're passing the savings on to the consumer. The, the first question is, is, can you guarantee that? And I always tell them, no. I don't guarantee anything except I'll do my best. And tonight, that's all I'm going to tell you, is I don't guarantee you anything except I'm going to do my best. Okay? But I will tell you this much. I um, couldn't be happier to be here. Um, as many of you know, I'm very proud of my Armenian heritage. Um, so proud that every time one of the Armenian clients comes into my office and says, uh, Mr. Giragos, um, I want to hire you. And I'll say, well, why are you coming to my office? And they say, because I wanted a good Huria lawyer. And, and when I tell them that I'm really 100% Armenian, you should see the dejected look on their face. Most Odars, on the other hand, think that I'm Greek. And my grandfather, when he came over from uh, when they fled the genocide, and by the way, um, on a more somber note, um, my most proud work over the past year in 2004 was representing all of the heirs of the Armenian Genocide in the state of California against New York life. Give yourself an applause, because for the first time, not even the Hurriyas and the Holocaust litigation, for the first time, the first case that ever settled a class action case involving a genocide, Holocaust, or anything else, was our case against New York life for $20 million. That's a published case in the federal district court. So give yourselves all an applause because we have now, and mind you, that's one down, and the next is in about two or, two or three months when I'm finished trying my case in Orange County, when I file suit against the Turkish government for reparations, that will be the day when we get our reparations. One of the great things, and one of the reasons that, uh, in all kidding aside, because I know none of you have a sense of humor, all kidding aside, the reason that it's so important that we do things like this, Armenian Music Awards, is because as Armenians in the uh, diaspora, the thing that unites all of us besides the church is our culture, our language, 
our music, our poetry, our art. And not the least of which is the fact that we have the most drop-dead gorgeous women of any culture. Look at my girls down there. Aren't they beautiful? There's, there is no more beautiful uh, set of uh, women than uh, the DNA that is Armenian. And there is no more heightened culture than the Armenian culture. And the Armenian music is the ultimate expression of that. And so we come here tonight to honor that. I, um, I am now going to turn you over to Peter, who's hanging around here somewhere, who uh, assures me that at some point he's going to let me go up to Santa Maria tomorrow and testify for the other king of pop. And um, Peter, if you get out here, I'd be happy to turn it over and I'll take the trophy girls back with me. And let's give a round of applause to all of you. Thank you very much and welcome. Come on.